December 2nd, 2021. How's it going, guys? Well, what we're going to talk about tonight is should a person go on a BiPAP or CPAP or a ventilator if they're unconscious? And do the nurses or the doctors explain to the people exactly what that means? I don't know for sure because we sure weren't explained everything. We were explained certain things, yes, but not everything. And what I'm going to talk about right now is eating, about food. They, they don't tell you that if you go on a CPAP, they say, well, we can go to a CPAP, which is non-invasive as much. It basically goes over your nose and your mouth, okay? And it's got kind of like little cutouts open, but it pushes that air, air into them. Okay, it's called bi-level positive airway pressure is what that stands for. Okay, guys. The thing of it is, if this mask is on you, they can't, they, they told us that they can't get a feeding tube up your nose if that's being used. Okay. Now, my mother was 90 years old. Okay, and when they told us that she wasn't getting enough, of basically volume of air and stuff, on we decided okay that would probably be the next thing to do. But we wanted to give her every chance to see if she came out of this. Now the doctor only gave him, gave her two to four hours the day we brought her in. She lived seven days, but she never got no food. Out of those seven days. After after I had fixed her breakfast that morning, that was it. From Halloween day till the seventh till the she died, she never had no food. So this is this was concerning to me a little bit. It really was. Now they'll say, oh, a person can make it a week, but a, a person that's 90 years old, that's 90 pounds. I don't know. I don't buy that. I wouldn't want to go a whole seven days without food. I mean, you, I'm sure you could. I'm sure if you're healthy, you can do it. You know what they say? Uh, three days without water. But uh, the thing of this is, just for people to be aware, if you're going to have this done, if so, or if you have, if you're taking care of somebody, and and they become unconscious, just be aware of this. To, to make sure that they can be fed. Now, there is another way to do this. this is called a, they, they call it a TPN. And supposedly they can run it into, the, into your vein, into the bloodstream, and feed you that way. Now, I did a little bit of research on that. Supposedly, people have been fed for a long time with that. Now, my mother, she had not very good veins, okay, too, on top of it. But it took a while to, to find out about this. It time they got her in the room and everything, it took about three and a half days to get everything turned around and everything. And then we were told that they were going to do a TPN. But since she had that, you know, stuff there, basically we couldn't go see her the next day. So another day went by. Then we went back up, and I said, well, did they get the... So, oh, no, said the, the doctor ordered it, but it's an, it, it won't be here. And if it, does, and it didn't get done past 2 p.m., we won't get it for another day or whatever. And then the next day after we went back, they said, well, they couldn't do it because her veins were too bad. So... I will just say this, if you're taking care of an elderly person and they do fall ill like that or they're unconscious, be aware, make sure that if it comes to that point that they can use a TPN on, TPN on them and to be able to feed them if, for any length of time. Because if you don't have that, and they say they can't get it in, they're not going to get fed. So that was one thing here. 
like I said, I, I definitely wanted to talk about hair on that. And uh, I got a couple more things, too, I want to talk about. But uh, for right now, we'll leave this for right now right here. But just, just remember, guys, and it, and, it, and it wouldn't even have to be for an elderly people that you're taking care of either. I mean, just yourself. I mean, if a person became unconscious. Now, the thing of it is, they're going to say, well, you know, if you're only getting so much, much oxygen, you know, you're going to die. Well, that is the case if you don't get enough, okay? So that you have to make a choice. I mean, there's a thing called a CPAP, a BiPAP, and the last resort, the ventilator, okay? But... If they can't get food into you, you're not going to live anyway. I mean, you're not going to survive. Nobody can survive without food. So this is this was another thing that needed to be talked about. I wanted to talk about on this. And uh, I don't know. To me, I mean, uh, I sure wouldn't want to have it done. I mean, uh, I had discussed with my mother what she wanted done. She wanted to go as natural as possible. But it also bothered me and cons concerned me a great deal because it seemed like any time that, you know, uh, we talked about this, about the food and stuff, it, that it was it was always kind of pushed to one side. And that, that bothered me too. Because, I mean, she was pretty much incapacitated in that sense. And I knew as days went on, if she didn't get fed, I mean, you know, I didn't figure she was going to make it very long. But it's another thing to be aware of, like I say, guys. And, uh, you know, I also know of somebody right now, recently, it's, it's out at a hospital. And uh, they, uh, I think they're talking about, depending on how they're going to go, which way they're going to go with this. And, I mean, it's, I, you know, it's one thing if you can talk. And you, you know, and still, but if you're completely, you know, unconscious and when it comes to eating, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know even how you could even, you know, with that BiPAP being on there, or, or I don't see how you could eat unless you could just take it off. And then I don't know, you know, depending on how bad off you were then. So, I mean, that's another thing too, but it's something to be aware of. And, uh, you know, it's a choice that everybody needs to make and think about. But it needs to be presented to the people. I really believe it needs to be. They need to say, now, you know, if we're going to step this up from just a normal line of oxygen to uh, a BiPAP machine like that, we need to address, you know, you know, if the person becomes unconscious or, you know, is unconscious at that point, there might be a problem with feeding them, you know. And, that you know, that they need to explain all this. We didn't get explained any of this to the very end of almost where then there was no time hardly. You know, I mean, uh, like I say, it was about three and a half days into this. Then another day went by that we couldn't go up there. And then another day uh, on the fifth day. So, I mean, it's something uh, that needs to be, like I say, talked about so people can be aware and this just isn't just about you know this other thing it's going around but if anything if you had to be put on this it's something that they should tell you about feeding feeding should be an issue and it, and it should be addressed on anything like that whatsoever anyway guys just a short little video eyes open have a good one